thank you. Thank you all for being here today and especially to Stop Aquind, to Viola and the whole team who have given us this opportunity to send some messages today. You're going to be hearing many speeches about why this scheme is so damaging for our city but also the country as a whole and what you can do next to help us make sure it never happens. So I'm not going to give those messages today and tell many of you what you already know. I want to use the opportunity Stop Aquint have given me today to send a message to the directors and investors of Aquint. So if there are any PR people lurking about the square today, take note of what I'm about to say because I wouldn't want them to get the wrong impression about the protest here. They may be looking out at the crowd, they may be looking at your speakers today and thinking, oh, it's the same old, same old suspects. Every single one of you here today is representing thousands of other people. Thousands of people in our city, in the country and elsewhere, northern France in particular, who are implacably against this scheme. Their reasons for being against it vary. Some of them in the city got the up when Aquin wrote to them and said that it was going to compulsory purchase their homes and threaten them, that bully boy tactics. Others objected when your democratically elected leaders in this city were threatened by people like Alexander Tomurko. And thank you, Stop Aquind, for the support you showed me when I was threatened and told to shut up. that will be done or what it will do to our recovering economy. Others question why anyone would want to invest in a scheme that isn't even in this country's national infrastructure plan or has the type of backers that Viola outlined earlier on. There are many varying reasons why people are against this scheme but we are united in our opposition to it. So if there is an Aquind PR exec here today get your pen out and write this down. I want you to look at this building behind us. That is our guild hall. It was bombed to within an inch of its life during the Blitz and this city rebuilt it. While you're in town, go and look at the forts on Portsdown Hill. Go and look at the forts that sit outside our harbour in the Solent Channel. Go into our dockyard and read the plaque on the wall that talks about this city's energy and organisation and industry and determination when we took the decision to send men and ships to sea to stand up to bullies and defend the Falkland Islands and, and defend their right to self-determination and go to our local football club and ask them what we did to unappointed administrators that came in and tried to strip assets from our club. You see, Aquin, there are two types of people in this world. There are people that stand and fight for what they believe in. And there are people that roll over and lie down. And the people of Portsmouth are definitely the former. In fact, I think I'm selling a short. We don't just stand up and fight. We love a fight. We are at our best when we are in a fight. And we're so damn good at it that others rally to our cause. So Aquind, this is my message to you today. It is in your best interest to throw in the towel now. Because in the vanishingly unlikely event that the government reverses its position, the government position is correct, we all believe that. If they reversed it, we would not give up. We would carry on the fight and your investors need to know that. In our nation's entire history, anyone that has wished us harm or wished to invade this soil has never ever chosen to come ashore in Portsmouth with good reason. And remember this, Aquind and all of you here today, we will not be done until we have won. Thank you for everything you are doing.